You talked too much and gave away France's plan when you granted interviews. You could have kept it short and focused making research on Anthony Joshua the way Ben Davison was studying Francis. Sometimes you talk too much, Dewey, and look how you have brought France's rising boxing career to a halt. This were the words of some of Francis Ngannou's family who believed his coach, Dewey Cooper, was his downfall. If you have been following us on Punchcraft Corner, one of our video talked about how Anthony Joshua will knock out Francis Ngannou within four rounds. Well, guess what? AJ did it within two rounds and everyone was marveled. Again, let's clarify this. AJ beats Usyk if the trilogy ever happened. You do not need to believe just like I told those who were hyped about Francis' power. Ben Davison knows what most of you do not know about Usyk, and if the Tyson Fury fight ever happened, Francis' fate is going to befall him. Perhaps the Tyson Fury fight got to Dewey's head. Yeah, we just wanted him to show his weapons, show his athletic ability, and people really underestimate the character of the fighter. You, you know, the you guys know the upbringing, you guys know the struggles, you guys know the homelessness, you guys know the the things he's been through, uh, uh, being being uh disrespected by his last company, being the fans turning on him, saying he fumbled the bag, all these different things that he's went through in the last year and a half, man. People should have expected a monster to, to really show himself because he's been holding all this anger in, all this disappointment, all these doubters in, and he was able to express it on Saturday night. And but that is not the gist here. One thing about Anthony Joshua is that you do not want to make him mad. Since the Ruiz loss, everybody think they can go at Joshua because they feel he's soft but everyone should know what's up now. Whenever Dewey Cooper was asked about facing Anthony Joshua, he talked as if he's got some master plan to take out Anthony Joshua. Maybe some of you do not get it by now. AJ is an analytical person, more like a philosopher. You can call him a PhD student who needed a certified professor to guide him. Guess who is the prof who understands the clarity he was seeking for? Ben Davison. Instead of focusing on his man, Dewey Cooper went ahead to disrespect Anthony Joshua even during the glove selection, saying no matter what gloves Ben Davison pick for Anthony Joshua, Francis was going to beat him. Let's be fair boxing fans. Why would you ever assume Francis was going to beat AJ? I know the answer. He's chinny. Andy Ruiz took his soul. Usyk schooled him. His soul is broken and more. Going into the fight, a real boxing fan would know that all Anthony Joshua needed to do was to make Francis Ganimus and then make his own shot count. When round one began, Francis was standing in an unorthodox position, and then Dewey told him to switch stance, which he did. Focus. If Dewey Cooper was a coach who did his homework like Ben Davison did, he should know that Anthony Joshua just beat the pulp out of a southpaw, Otto Wallen, in just five rounds. And if you still think Wallen was a banana skin, he lasted five rounds. Francis didn't even last up to two. What happened to all that strong chin? It was the exact body movement he did against Tyson Fury he was doing again especially his southpaw stance. Ben Davis and Lee W. Wiley already figured this, and that was why AJ had an upper guard for his left hook. When the first knockdown happened, Francis needed only one change, switch back to the unorthodox stance and the fight becomes balanced, he would have ultimately recover from that first knockdown. If you watch the Zhang vs. Parker's match, Parker was constantly switching and got the groove going. That was why the second knockdown couldn't still keep him down. Oh dear Dewey. Where is all that strong voice now? In reality, I agree with Francis Ngannou's family. This is not Muay Thai or MMA. This is boxing and it requires strategy. Just imagine if Anthony Joshua had lost and Francis Ngannou won. You all would have called him all sort of names saying, Oh, he's chinny. He never had a heart since Andy knocked him down. Do you still want to see the Deontay Wilder fight? All Dewey Cooper needed to work on was how Francis Ngannou can make Anthony Joshua get his timing wrong. But only one thing that we're all talking about, Francis got power, they forgot it was Anthony Joshua, a man with 24 knockout victory. If it was all about power, then Anthony Joshua should have ragdoll Alexander Usyk. And I say this again, the trilogy needs to happen. Of course, everyone is hoping for Tyson Fury because it will create the biggest buzz and bring to fruition the Battle of the Brits. The only time Tyson Fury was confident about fighting Anthony Joshua was after the Usyk 2 loss. He wanted to fight a man who was broken psychologically. Let me save you the stress what Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury would look like. A knockout. Tyson Fury knocked out cold and won't rise again. Guess who will be coaching Anthony Joshua, the man he left whom his father rubbished and thought he would never rise again. But back to Francis Ngannou. We do not know if this will cause him and Dewey Cooper to go their separate ways. But if Francis is thinking about staying in boxing, perhaps, 
he should reach out to Brian Bomack McIntyre. Francis must understand this is a sweet science that must be crafted. Dewey Cooper is not the man to teach him except he is going to the PFL. When Anthony Joshua left Robert McCracken, everyone tagged him ungrateful, but forgot McCracken was the reason Anthony Joshua lost to Ruiz. When AJ was buzzing, they were a train that should have stuck together, but probably Rob felt Anthony Joshua was not bigger than the Great Britain boxing team. So, he abandoned him and flew with the Team GB to the Olympics and AJ had to figure it out on his own. Well, switching trainers has helped him find the answers he was looking for. Ben Davison, and when the Fury fight finally happened, Tyson is going to regret the day he left that man called Ben Davison. Why did Francis have much success against Tyson Fury? It is because Fury style is no longer hard. Lean on people, throw them around and roughen them up. Francis is 272 pounds. Tyson was not going to be successful with that, but notice what happened in the match with Anthony Joshua. AJ leaned on Francis and even clinched him to dictate the fighting pace. This is why I am confident that the trilogy with Usyk will end up as a knockout just like Israel Adesanya vs. Alex Pereira 2 match in the UFC. Again, Francis Gannon needs to make a brave decision now if he wants to be successful in boxing. It is time to say goodbye to Dewey Cooper and look for a better trainer. Perhaps, ask Mike Tyson to take him under his wing like he did during the Fury fight. There are levels to this game, and should Francis come across another heavy puncher like Ajit Kabale, Anthony Joshua former sparring partner, he is going to sleep again. Do you agree that Francis should change trainer? Were his family wrong to point accusing finger at Dewey Cooper? Let me know in the comments section. Remember to like and share this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so by clicking the red button, it doesn't bite.